Good morning. Let us all stand. Take a moment to welcome each other in this celebration. Good morning. And as we welcome each other in this celebration, on the Feast of the Presentation of the Lord, or we can also call it traditionally Candlemas, the Feast of the Light, with the light of hope needed so the world especially for those who find themselves in destitute situation let us also pray for families that are challenged by the situations they find themselves in we pray also for mothers who are ex experiencing challenge in their pregnancy let us also pray for the frontliners, the first responders, and those who provide the essential services, especially for the poor. And our end song. Longing for life, longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people, light for the world to see. Christ be our light, shine in our hearts, shine to the darkness. Christ be our light, shine in your church. Gather today. <clears throat> In the name of the Father and Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather today in this celebration, let us allow the light of Christ's compassion and mercy to shine to the darkness of sin. You are the Son of God and Son of Mary, Kyrie Elehison, Kyrie Elehison. You are the light of revelation to all, Christ Elehison. You come for <clears throat> our redemption, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, we humbly implore your majesty that just as your only begotten Son was presented on this day in the temple in the substance of our flesh, so by your grace we may be presented to you with minds made pure. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts, but who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver. He will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord as in the days of old, as in years gone by. The word of the Lord. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lentils. Reach up, you ancient portals, and the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle? Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels. Reach up, you ancient portals, the key, that King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory, the Lord of hosts? He is the King of glory. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them, that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who through fear of death has been subject to slavery, all their life. Surely he did not help the angels, but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God to expiate the sins of the people, because he himself was tested through what he suffered he is able to help those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days were completed for their purification, according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictates in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death, before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. 
He came in the spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him in his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him, and Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband, and after a marriage, and then as a widow, until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who are awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Happy Groundhog Day. If you hadn't heard yet, uh, Punsatani Phil, this morning, he came out of his hole, came out of hibernation, came into the light, saw his shadow, and so he then went back into hibernation, afraid of his own shadow, and to some, that becomes a clue that there might be six more weeks of winter. Now, there are many clues in the Old Testament about what we sang about, in, or what we proclaimed in today's psalm, where we said, you know, we were asking the question, who is the King of Glory? That was the question that was going around at the time of Jesus, as the people were waiting for the coming of the Lord, the coming of the Messiah. And the clues were there, but many didn't see. If you recall, in, um, at Epiphany, we celebrated that people, Gentiles, who were not even believers of the scripture, recognized the light in the sky at the birth of Jesus and came. And then they came, and the Jewish leaders knew exactly from scripture what was it, where it was. Yes, the child's going to be born in Bethlehem of Judea. And yet they failed to recognize the light in the sky, the star that was leading those wise men. They missed that sign. Because they were, they, were trying, they were almost hiding from that truth. In a way, they almost were like the groundhog this morning, who, were, who even though they saw the light, they chose to ignore it. As Jesus began his ministry, he was helping people to understand who he was. And in fact, he comes to his hometown and quotes for them the scripture that says exactly who the king of glory is. And the people stare at him in amazement because they recognize that what he read in scripture described his ministry that the, uh, of the people being healed, blind seeing, the deaf being able to hear. And yet their response was to ignore that clue. And in fact, they tried to throw him off the cliff of the town. Even John the Baptist who God called to be the person to prepare the way for the Lord, even had doubts. But Jesus responded with that same scripture, telling the disciples of John the Baptist, what are you seeing? It is so easy to be wrapped up, and even though the clues are there, everything laid out, to not recognize the presence of God. So that brings us today, where Mary and Joseph, doing what 
all parents, many parents at that time did, who were devout, bring their child to the temple to be presented to the Lord, to dedicate their firstborn to the Lord. And I know one of the great joys I have of being a deacon is presiding at baptisms. And all parents are excited about as they bring their church child to church for the first time. This is my child. And that excitement, that enthusiasm. That something must have touched Simeon's heart. How did Simeon recognize that this child was different than all the other children that were coming? How did he recognize that difference? The Holy Spirit. It was the presence of the Holy Spirit in him that was able to help Simeon connect the dots. I'm sure he had heard the prophecy that we heard in the first reading. And suddenly there will come into the temple the Lord whom you seek. Yes, he is coming. And yet, few saw without that Holy Spirit. The prophetess Anna prayed night and day for the coming that, that she saw. And she recognized Christ. You and I have many more clues than existed at the time because we have the benefit of the New Testament. We have the benefit of the Spirit touching us. But yet we still have a choice. Are we allowing God's light to shine through us? Or are we hiding from God's light and ignoring its presence? In a few minutes, we will be blessing candles that we will be using to light our way but may we recognize that it is that light of Christ that shines through us, not casting a shadow, but that light of Christ that reflects upon all so that we can use the clues that we have to recognize that Jesus truly is in our hearts the King of glory. May we too have that encounter, just like Simeon and Anna, and hold Jesus close in our hearts. Our Lord Jesus Christ shines as the light of salvation to all nations in the glory of his people. Let us bring our prayers to our loving Father who gave us his only Son for us. Our response, <clears throat> Lord, let your light shine on us. Lord, let your light shine on us. <clears throat> that the church may show to the world the true face of Christ and be a sign of salvation to all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let your light shine on us. That those in authority may render selfless service to society and have the courage to speak and act in the name of truth and justice and bear witness to the love of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let your light shine on us. That we may be inspired by the obedience of Our Lady and St. Joseph to always observe the precepts of the Church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let your light shine on us. That fathers and mothers may inspire their children to follow Christ by their own examples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let your light shine on us. That our beloved dead may go forth in God's peace and rejoice forever with Mary and all the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let your light shine on us. We lift up to the Lord the intentions and petitions we hold dear in our hearts for our families and our loved ones. We pray for the intentions for whom this Mass is offered, the intentions of Daniel Gaitan and the souls of Piedad Gutierrez and Father Luis Serrano. We pray for the intentions submitted to us, thanksgiving for Evan Sanchez, Emiliano Leonides, for Camus family, Mel D. Magat, Felmarie Davis, Cindy La, Colonel Ro Rogelio Inson Jr., and Roger Sr. Jr. 
and Sr. For the health and strength needed by Vic Barrientos, for Ludes and Rose Cruz, we pray for our dearly departed Bonifacio Ibai, Romualdo Aragon, Camelia Garcia, Romeo Odi, and Dr. Cosme Neval. We also remember the intentions we have placed in the Ark of Prayer chest, as well as those unspoken in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord let, let your, your light, light shine, shine on, on us. us. Lord, without you we are in darkness. May your light shine brightly in us that we may become, in our own way, reflections of your light. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed be the Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be the Lord, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. <clears throat> Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. <coughs> May the offering made with exaltation by your church be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray. For you will that your only begotten Son be offered to you for the life of the world as the Lamb without blemish, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. <clears throat> It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for your co-eternal Son was presented on this day in the temple and revealed by the Spirit as the glory of Israel and light of the nations. And so we too go forth rejoicing to encounter your salvation and with the angels and saints praise you as without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Plenisum Celi et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, O Sahana in excelsis. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly, into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, 
all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Santiago de Compostela, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins when the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. <clears throat> the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.
Agnistei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnistei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnistei, Quitolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be filled. Communion Antiphon, my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples. And now in solidarity with those who are praying with us online, we pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. By these holy gifts which we have received, O Lord, bring your grace to perfection within us, and as you fulfilled Simeon's expectation that he would not see death until he had been privileged to welcome the Christ, so may we, going forth to meet the Lord, obtain the gift of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall now have the blessing of candles. O God, source and origin of all light, who on this day showed to the just man Simeon the light for revelation to the Gentiles, we humbly ask in answer to your people's prayer, prayers that you may be pleased to sanctify with your blessing these candles, so that treading the path of virtue, we may reach that light which never fails. Through Christ our Lord. Let us now pray to our loving Mother in Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And to Saint Joseph, hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son, in you, Mary, place her trust. With you, Christ, was secure and safe. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and stairs of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast unto hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all and your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our recessional song is very hard. <laughs> I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. They who follow me will have the light of life. Arise, says the Lord, have no fear within you. For in my presence there will be no darkness. I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. They who follow me will have the light of life. Have a blessed day, everyone. Thank you for worshiping and praying with us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.